I've been thinking about the economy and, you know, if I was a small time investor, how would I feel right now? And, um, what I'll tell you is there's a movie called the big short and there's a book called the big short. I read it, but before or after I read the book, the movie came out and it made it even more popular. The idea of shorting stock and what do people do when they, when they short stock, they borrow money, assuming that eventually it's going to go down from where they bought it. And for some people, those shorts are long-term shorts. So they have constantly added to their shorts. They've covered it and they said, okay, I'll buy it. Um, but okay. So what I'm trying to say is, um, if we screw all the short people and you're worried, well, what about someday when I need to take my money out? Um, and I, 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 I want to leave my money in the stock market, but I'm scared to leave it in there. And what if someday I do want to take my money out and then everyone wants to take it out at the same time. And what I'll tell you is that's what, the best thing about shorting. Cause those are the people that should lose. And I understand. Let me think here. What all can you buy if you're, um, getting ready for the coronavirus? This is my old stash bag. This is my backup water filter. I got a new water filter yesterday, a fancy one. Um, it's gravity water filter. That way I don't have to pump it. This is a straw, um, sunscreen. Um, that's just in case I ever have to run away. This is actually my go bag. Um, this is my survival bag. Um, I already had toilet paper. I actually have multiple of those that, that's wrapped in aluminum foil because aluminum foil you can use for cooking. Um, what is this? Oh, nails. Yeah, that's for stabbing people. No, everything's a weapon pretty much, but actually the nails are for whatever. Uh, Cause I do have a hammer in there. Um, zip ties, uh, just in case I have to fight a terrorist. Um, fish, fishing uh, stuff. All right, so um, markers in aluminum foil. Everything's in aluminum foil. Uh, lighters, uh, a shrimp lure. Um, I have a whole fishing kit to do trot lines. See, this is my survival bag, but like, this is like my end of the world bag um, for breaking stuff. It's got soap in there. Uh, flashlights, candles, a little bit of twine. Um, what is this? I wonder do you, I don't know what they make. This is, oh, it's got nothing in it. I should put some stuff in it. I should put bullets in it. I should put five bullets. It's my five bullet bag. <laughs> I can put it on my hip. All right, uh, I got a razor in here. All right, but that's just one bag. Um, but also, I mean, you have to understand, some people, I talked to the people at the, at the gun shop and they were like, we are making bank off bullets. Cause some of us are like, ah, we got a bunch. Uh, I keep mine in bags in case I need my bullets to be portable. Um, that's, that's how I, am. um, I got sunscreen. Let's see here. I got, this is stuff you don't need, but I, I understand like everyone's going, dude, we're out of alcohol, we're out of toilet paper. And what I'll tell you is I understand that you want to go buy toilet paper, a triple antibiotic. I didn't even know I had that in there. That's crazy because I just bought triple antibiotic. I've got batteries in there. Um, I've got a, a first aid kit that I got from a, um, from a, uh, uh, a job fair. Um, I've got a flashlight in there. Another one. That's a blinding flashlight. That's a fighting flashlight. I have a fighting flashlight. All right. So this is my, and this is, like, but someone could buy a bag if they want a place to stash their stuff. Oh, I got a tent in there. Um, I mean, I, can you imagine how much the gun industry is making? All I'm saying is that people are spending money and there are so many people that are short right now. And if we take all their money, because everyone knows the market's going to collapse, right? They, everyone knows it, do they? Um, they know it's going to be bad for a lot of businesses. And for some of us, we do not believe what Kudlow says, which is, oh, this is a matter of weeks. Some of us are like, wow, this could be like another year. And that's a, that's like, logical because if it's that hard to detect like i mean everyone says this is donald trump's fault if donald trump had done a better job early on and responded seriously then we'd be fine and it's like mm, 
The problem is people are not showing symptoms. And the problem is Donald Trump can't like use his mind to create coronavirus tests. And we need the test. We need a lot more test kits. And I feel like any time that you're trying to mass produce something for the entire population almost, or for a very large amount of people, it's difficult. Um, but what all I'm trying to say here is I feel like some people are um, making a lot of money, specifically gun people. I've got like a, like you can buy one of these things. This is, this is my, this is, this was, this is my World War Three bag. So I can have camo. I, I have, I have a, like a camouflage tarp is a great thing to have. Camouflage sleeping bag is another great thing to have. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of people are buying stupid stuff. And I feel like a lot of people are making so much money while the stock market's collapsing. Because if there's anything I know right now is that I've spent, like, I, I have too much toilet paper. And I feel like if you're, if you, if I bought more toilet paper right now, I'm an asshole. Because everyone's going, this is unprecedented. We we've ne like we're gonna have to go chop down a ton of trees now, because people are stockpiling so much. It's like, all right, well, uh, like, are you are you assuming th that all of society is gonna end? Because if all of society ends, you want to talk about a pandemic. Like, how do you deal with a pandemic? You you stay as a society and you uh, come to like an agreement that we're gonna. Um, deal with this thing together and we're going to stop acting like all that matters is the economy and we're going to actually beat this thing. You, you can't like if we go into anarchy and I go out and, and live in the woods and fish, which could I be away from germs? Yeah. But what if someone bathes in that river? I don't know. Um, that's the thing. Like, but that's why I have the two filters, but I don't have enough filters. I can't filter enough water. I, I, I checked it. I, I can filter like 350 gallons. Um, but I, there's no way, um, but like, like, but, but it, my family's wealthy enough. Why would we not have a way to survive? Like in the event of an, of an, of all out catastrophe. Um, if like in my city, there's no one working at the water supply company, um, or water treatment facilities, but there should that like, that's, but we should always assume like, if there's anything we're going to take care of, it's grocery stores, water treatment facilities, um, power plants, um, anything that is dangerous if not taken care of. Anything that's like automated and dangerous, uh, if not, if not, um, but, but um, I, that's like something like, like a nuclear waste facility might have to um, be maintained, right? Because it has to be cool, cooled, like the spent fuel pools have to, that, that, well, that's part of a nuclear facility, the spent fuel... It has to be cool, but so that's power plants. Anyways, um, I think what I'm trying to say is in the stock market, all these people have been short since 2000 freaking 10 or 2012. And so if you're sitting there going, the United States can't handle this. And what I'm telling you is number one, we are rich. You know, I'm like a super criminal that like is not even a criminal at all. Cause all I do is sit there and paint all day. Um, yeah, that's, that's reality. Um, and that means that we're very rich and we can take care of this economy, but we can't take care of it on our own. Um, but like, I understand logically everyone's going, dude, there's no way that we can survive as an economy. What I'm telling you is the circuit breaker didn't, didn't break. And if we actually decide, okay, I'm going to think, actually long term because that's what the stock market's supposed to be when the, like everyone's going why isn't the stock market crashing because of coronavirus and it was because it, 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 it was waiting to have a moment <sighs> um but like logically we're all going well duh if we're like because some of us can read and some of us are going dude you're having that much trouble detecting this thing there's no way you can stop it unless like you give everyone tests but you don't have enough test kits like there's no way so like you can sit there and be like oh yeah there's gonna be a few months maybe we might have it for a few weeks and it's like, Oh dude, we we're like, we're actually going to have to figure out how to deal with this thing. And like, like at some point I feel like some people want me to tell them what, what I think we should do. And that's what the States are about. Um, I, I do believe in States rights. And, and at some point, like not everyone has the same opinion. And if you, if, if the president's not a dictator, then States should be able to make their own decisions. But the president needs to be a dictator in certain areas specifically. Um, especially if, if 
there's a lot of traveling between states. But at some point, I guess the states have to reach agreements with one another. Well, if you're going to travel to my state, you're going to have to have these same restrictions that we're doing. But, I don't know, it sure seems like a lot of people are not getting tested. This girl I read about in the Huffington Post, um, she has a flu, dry cough, but exactly like I had. Which, it, what I had, you you read Tom Hanks' symptoms like, I think I had the coronavirus. Like, that's, it, seriously, like, that's exactly what I think when I read um, and, and I, it was brutal. It was 10 days of hell and it was like really bad. Um, and I think if you, if you do have the coronavirus, you need to quit smoking while you have it, especially. Um, but, um, all I'm saying is, um, like we don't know the extent of it, but because all these people are getting the flu, which is exactly like the coronavirus, and no one knows which one's which because there aren't enough test kits. Um, the the mortality rate might actually be super low, but it sure doesn't seem like it. But I'm still try. I'm still I, like I understand like everyone's saying like I I trust the CDC, and the CDC says this thing is getting out of control, and if it does get out of control, it will kill millions, not billions, but millions. And like, but in my head, I'm still looking at it and going, okay, well, how, you don't even know who has the freaking coronavirus and it's sh- and like, but you know how many people die. Deaths are easy to figure out. S- illnesses are not. And so I'm sitting there going like, I'm, I'm really confused about like how you're so sure. But then I am also at the same time, I'm like, you are that sure. And you know more than me. And I know there's no vaccine. And so I should listen to you. And so, um, I don't know. All I'm saying is. Some of us are more ready than we should be. I, I don't, I don't think I need to go to the store for like probably three weeks, but, um, but I would be pretty, pretty angry about my food situation if I didn't go to the store in three weeks.